Okay. So I woke up early today, have plenty of time to get ready. I'm still sitting around drinking coffee. I don't have to be at work for oh, about 45 minutes. And I thought, hey, I'll go ahead and start the vlog. It's a beautiful day here in Texas. It's kind of like the spring. I still feel a little bit like Mother Earth cheated me out of the winter a little bit this year, but it's a beautiful spring day, so I really can't complain. So the mattress store went good. Um, I had a good sell this morning, um, and then it was really slow for the rest of the day because it's Super Bowl. Um, we closed up about 30 minutes early. Now I'm about to run in the grocery store and grab some beans and some chips because, because we're gonna have hamburgers at home, so I thought I would get some some baked beans and some potato chips, which is, for me, like the classic hamburger side. Besides french fries, I mean, obviously when you go to fast food or a restaurant, french fries are the, are the standard. But for me as a kid, regular potato chips and baked beans were the standard hamburger side, like when my family would have a cookout. Anyway, I'm gonna run in the grocery store and grab some beans and some chips, and anything else that catches my eye. By the way, when I was a kid, until I was like 10, I thought it was called Waterburger. Because down here in Texas, people are like, oh, we're going to Waterburger. People say Waterburger. I was a 10 or 11, I was, I was probably almost in middle school before I realized it wasn't Waterburger. <laughs> hey, if you're a Texan, leave me a comment down there. Did you grow up thinking it was called Waterburger too? Is this the Mandela effect? Did it used to be called Waterburger? I don't think so. Also on, a, also on a similar note, when I was a kid, I thought Arby's and Wendy's were two different incarnations of the same business, and that Arby's was just the roast beef version of Wendy's. And I just thought this because it ended with a Y, I guess. Maybe Arby and Wendy were sisters, who knows, but when I was a, when I was a kid, I absolutely thought Arby's and Wendy's were completely related somehow. I bought frozen hamburger patties, which is something I never do. Um, so it's a little bit of an experiment. The, the, the cheese and the vegetables on it. I imagine it'll taste just as good as any hamburger you get from any burger place. But I'm always skeptical of frozen patties, so we'll see. So I posted a wine review this week, and I was... When I posted it, other than the fact that my hat had the tag on it, that was funny. But uh, I was a little dissatisfied. Like, the wine review was great, but I don't feel like... I don't feel like my channel is the, the right place to post a video that's just a wine review. Um, when I do reviews of like shoes or products that I own, that, that are things that anybody in the world might be able to use, I feel like that works on my channel. But when it's a wine review, only some people like wine. I think my plan is from now on, when I review wine, it's just going to be one part of a longer vlog. So that I'll talk about what I did that day and the wine I drank that night. So that my video is not just a standalone wine review. Or else maybe in the future I'll start a separate channel for the wine reviews, but I don't know, not sure. As you can see, I'm vlogging from my bedroom. I am literally sitting one foot from a light. I don't usually vlog from the bedroom because the lighting is just not good in here, but uh, if I sit right by this light, then at least this half of my face can get, yeah. But I like all the colors in the background, so it's kind of a cool place to vlog from. I might consider getting some kind of supplementary lighting that I can set up in here so that I can vlog from in here more often, maybe. My bedroom has this cool blanket thing. It's not a blanket because it has glass on it. It's a tapestry, I guess. This cool blue cloth thing with mirrors and embroidery hanging back there. So I like that, it's a neat feature. If I could light that and then get light from me as well, could maybe be a cool looking spot to vlog from sometime when I'm just talking. So the hamburgers were awesome. I'm very full of hamburgers now. The frozen patties turned out pretty good. I'm not gonna say they're like when you get some fresh ground beef and cook it medium rare. It was good like a good restaurant burger, but not like fast food. It was organic beef, just came frozen. So anyway, that was awesome. I'll buy that stuff again. It made it really easy to make burgers. I'm filming this by the light of Amanda's makeup mirror. It's funny, I was thinking about rearranging today, and then when I got home, Amanda had done some rearranging. It looks pretty cool in here. Let me show you. Looks really cool, and she also straightened up and moved stuff around in the backyard, which also looks great. Um, I'll show you that tomorrow. So if you stick around and watch my vlog often enough, you'll see that I'm pretty much addicted to rearranging. My dad likes to get an arrangement and just keep it that way forever. So when I was a kid, like, 
every once in a while me and my mom would rearrange but not really so as an adult I love to rearrange I love to just be like hey let's move this furniture around even my office where I have my camera set up and everything I'm considering rearranging in there although it's the kind of it's kind of the perfect setup for what I do still I'm like hmm Hmm, how can I rearrange? Amanda says it might be because of our nomadic ancestors. That might be why we like to rearrange. <laughs> it is mine. It sounds like a wild guess, but maybe, maybe, who knows, maybe. So earlier I was talking about how I think potato chips and baked beans are one of the classic hamburger side dishes. Uh, like for me, I'll take french fries, but if I grill or anything like that, then it's baked beans and chips. Um, I'm curious what your classic hamburger side dish is. Uh, I'm gonna assume for most people it's french fries. Here in Texas, we also love some onion rings. Like, if I go to Whataburger, it's onion rings. So today I woke up early feeling good. So, uh... I woke up early feeling good. So, it's a beautiful Sunday morning. So, I woke up early today. So, I woke up early today. So, woke up feeling good. It's gonna be an awesome day. 